hello guys welcome back to another android tutorial series in this tutorial series we are going to learn about how to end some revenue from your android application using AdMob. AdMob is an advertisement platform from google you can place AdMob ads in your android application so that you can make some money from it so the first step you have to add google mobile ads sdk into your android studio project so in this first video i'm going to demonstrate how to integrate google mobile ads sdk into your android studio project we can begin with a new android studio project i select an empty activity here i name it as admob example So here the Android Studio project created successfully. Now open your browser and search for Android AdMob tutorial. Go to the official documents. So the first step, in your project level Gradle file, you have to make sure that the Google Maven repository is added. So open Gradle files open project level credit file within all project section you have to make sure that the google maven repository is added if this line is not there you have to add it first now within the module level credit file you need to add this line so copy this line now open module level credit file within the dependency section add that line so here it shows there is a new version is available 17.1.3 so I changed that one into 17.1.3 so here we made some changes on the Gradle file so sync this project so here the project sync finishes successfully but here in the app compact library section we got some problem this is because some of the libraries used in the Google Mobile SDK still use some old version of the App Compact library. So the solution for this one, you have to re-implement the all the mismatching library. For that, just place your cursor over the other and use the shortcut key Control F1 so that you can view the uh, mismatching library. So here we have a mismatch library. Uh, custom tabs 26.1.0 so I copy this line now I'm going to re-implement that library so here it use the app compact support library version 26.1.0 but the current one is 28.0.0 so I change that one into 28.0.0 now sync project again still there are some mismatching libraries so here I re-implement all the mismatching library I re-implement three libraries custom tabs media compact and support v4 okay now sync project again okay now the problem is solved So now we need to add some metadata tag to the Android manifest.xml. So open Android manifest.xml. So you have to add these lines within the application tag. So copy this line. And within application tag, you have to place it. So here I add the metadata tag. So here uh, we have two attribute name and value name is application id and value for value you have to specify your atmob app id so when you create a new application in your atmob account you will get the atmob app id but for testing purpose always use test starts and test app id so here we have a sample application id so it is safe to use a test uh, test add id and test application id so here I copy this uh, test application ID. This is not a real application ID. This is for testing purpose. So I place that here. 
okay so now we can initialize the at mob mobile sdk so go to main activity so for initialize the mobile ads sdk you have to call this function mobile ads dot initialize so for this method you have to pass two parameter first one is the context so here i pass context as this now you have to specify your application id so here i use the test application id so now we successfully integrate google mobile ads sdk into this android studio project now we can begin placing atmob ads like banner ads interstitial ads native ads etc so from the next video onwards we are going to learn about how to place different type of ads from atmob so here one more thing so here we initialize the uh, mobile ads from the main activity so here in this project there is only one activity that is the main activity that is the launcher activity so you have to initialize the mobile ads sdk from the launcher activity only there is no need to specify there is no need to initialize the mobile ads from every activity i hope you understand the concept for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now